Abandoned Grace International School, we are located right in Obwase, precisely BDM. The school has a number of facilities that aid in learning. We have qualified and trained teachers who are ready and willing to assist the children. The school has many facilities such as the ICT laboratory. We also have a science laboratory. We also have a library. The school has a number of buses which convey the children from their various destinations to the school premises. We have the football team, we have the drama group, we have a lot and the school is based on the Christian principles. For more inquiries, you can call this number 0541-310-901-0541-670772. Abandon grace in God we trust. Hello viewers, my name is Abdul Mumin Rafik and I'm going to be your ICT instructor for today's um, lesson. As an ICT facilitator, I've come across some challenges students normally face when answering ICT questions. And I would like to use this platform to guide and assist students on how best they can answer ICT questions. And in view of this, I have a sample of um, diagrams and then questions which are going to serve as our guide for today's lessons. Good. Now, the diagram on your screen represents an interface. An interface of a word processing application. So I'm going to use it to answer the questions that um, follows. The, quest the questions that um, follows. Number one states that, study the diagram below carefully and use it to answer the questions that follow. I, what does the, uh, what does the picture above represent? Good. So as I said, it is an interface of a word processing application. So as we can see, there is a blue bar on top of the interface. This bar is called a title bar. And then we have um, document and then word star. Word star. So the answer to this question is word star application. Word star application. Word star application. The number two states that uh, name any two applications which can perform the same function as the above. Now, what this question demands is examples of the above application. Good. And as we know that it is a word processing application. So, two examples here could be Notepad, WordPad, and also Microsoft Perfect, or Microsoft Office, or Word Perfect. The question three reads, or states that, what is the name of the document? What is the name of the document? Now, let's go back to the blue bar on top of the interface the blue bar on top of the interface. Now, the blue bar is a title bar. Then a title bar usually displays the name of the program and then the title is given to the document. So here, as you can see, the user has not yet named the document. So we'll go by the default name, the default name of the document. So, the name of the document is document. Don't be confused. Check the title bar. We have document and then word star. Word star. The word star is the application we are running. And the document there should have been the name of the document. If you name it, the document will be replaced by the name 
you have given to the document, but as you've not named it, the program will name the document by default. So here, the name of the document is document. Document. Now, question IV. IV. IV states that uh, label the part, um, name the part labeled A to E. Name the part labeled A to E. So let us study it carefully. We have um, label A, B, C, D, and E. A, B, C, D, and E. Good. Now, study carefully where the labeling directs you to. You can see that the part labeled A is pointing on a vertical line on the interface. On a vertical line on the interface. Now, this is called the insertion point. The insertion point. So, label A is called the insertion point. Insertion point. Then we have label B. Label B. Label B is also pointing directly on the blue bar above. On the blue bar above. And the blue bar, as I said earlier on, is the title bar. So, the name for the, the part labeled B is the title bar. Good. And then um, the part labeled C. The part labeled C. Here, I would like to draw viewers' attention to this carefully. Now, if you don't take care, you might choose format as the answer, which, of course, is wrong. It's wrong. Now, the, um, where we have the formats, we have other, other formatting names there or other menu names there. Such as we have the insert, we have the view, we have the file, and then we have the what? Edit. These are menu names. These are menu names. So the C is a menu bar. The C is a menu bar. Why is it not format? Why is it not format? Because it is pointing on the format. It is pointing on the format. Good. Now, if you have um, a computer, if you have a computer at home, try to hover the mouse over the menu names. You realize that when you hover it over any of the menu names, help, um, format, insert, view, edit, and then file, you realize that it will be enclosed by a rectangle. It will be enclosed by a rectangle. Now, as we don't see any rectangle enclosing the format, it means that the answer can't be format, but a menu bar. A menu bar. In short, what they want us um, to verify is where is the format located? It is located on the menu bar. So the answer to C is a menu bar. Then we have the, the D. D. Now, as you can see, the part labeled D is pointing on an empty um, area. On an empty area. Now, this place is called your work area. This is where you do your actual typing. Your work area. Your work area. Good. Then we have um, C. C. The C is also pointing directly on when. When. If you observe closely, the C is pointing directly on when. Sorry, E. 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 The part labeled E. The part labeled E is pointing directly on when. When. Now here, if you don't take time, you, must, you might choose when as the answer, which, of course, you are going to be wrong. Good. Now, in computer language, we don't have words, but rather we use what? Text and characters. 
text and characters. So the part labeled E is a text. Is a text. Text. So at this point, I will display the answers on the screen so that viewers can also have the time to go through the answers. Good. Good. So the the question one, as I said, it is a word star application. Word star application. And a word star application is an example of a word processing application. Then the part, then we are asked to, I mean, give two examples of the above application. So word pad, word perfect, Microsoft Office are all what? Examples of the above application. Then the III, it's demanded for the name of the document. The name of the document. And I hear I said that the name of the document is document because the user hasn't yet given the document a name. A name. Good. Then the IV, IV, the A was insertion point, title bar, menu bar, work area, and then text. And then text. Text. So we go on to question the question two. Question two. Good. Sorry, question V. Question V. And then V is telling us to state the functions of the part labeled A, B, and D. The part labeled A, B, and D. So let's go back to the diagram and then see the part labeled A, B, and D. Good. So the A is the insertion point. Now, what is the function of the insertion point? This indicates where the next step, the next text would appear, or where the next character would appear. That is the that is the A insertion point. Insertion point. Then we have B. B, the function of B. As I said earlier on, the B is a title bar. Then a title bar of a program displays the name of the program. The title is given to your document. And then the control box. The control box. Now, at the far left or at the far corner of the title bar, you can see there are some three buttons there. Three buttons there. Uh, we have the, the minimize button, the maximize button, and then the close button. These buttons are collectively called control box. Control box. Control box. So the, func the function of the B is that it is the title bar, and then it shows the name of the program. The title is given to the, to the document, and then the control box. Then the control box. Then we have the function of the part labeled D. D, as we said earlier on, the D is your work area. The D is your work area. So this is where you actually do your work. You're typing, inserting of documents, or inserting of what? Clip arts and other activities. So the D is your work area. The D is your work area. So let's go on to the next question. Good. The B states that study the diagram below carefully and then answer the questions that follow. Answer the questions that follow. Now, this diagram is a feature of a web browser. It's a feature of a web browser. Um, when I say um, a web browser, what I mean is that it is an application software that enables users to surf the internet, to surf or to browse through the internet. So here, a web browser serves as a link between the user and the internet. So this is a feature on the web browser. And then we have part labeled A to F. A to F. A to F. So the A. The A is the forward button. The part labeled A is the forward 
button, forward button. Then the part labeled B. B is the stop button. Stop button. Stop button. Then the part labeled C. C is the refresh button. Refresh button followed by the part labeled D. D is the home, the home button. The home button. The home button. Then we have the history button. That is uh, the part labeled E, the history button, and then the print button. And then the print button. Now, all these um, icons you see here have their uses. But then the question didn't demand that we should, I mean, um, write their uses. So we'll just notify them. And then in our next lesson, we shall actually what? Learn their uses. So at this point, I'll display the answer so that viewers, you can also jot something down if you say good. So as I said, the part labeled A is the forward button, the B, the stop button, C, refresh button, D, home button, E, history button, and then F, print button. The F is the print button, print button. Good. So we move on to the next um, question. Good. Now, this is an interesting uh, question. We have to differentiate between um, save and save us. Save and save us. Now, when a question like this is being asked, Students should actually um, note when is it appropriate to use save, and then when is it appropriate to use save as. Save as. Now, you use the save command when you are adding content to an existing document under the same name. The save command is used. The save command is used to add content to an existing document document. Now, save here means that um, the document is already there and then you are only adding some content to it under the same name. Not a new name. Under the same name. Good. But the save as. The save as command. As the name implies. Save as. Save as the name you want to what? Save the document with. So the save as command gives you the chance to save your document under a new name. Under a new name. Let me go over it again. The save and the save as command. Save and save as command. Save is used when you want to add content to an existing document. Now, this means that the document is already in existence, like you've already typed it. But then you want to, uh, to add some content to it. You've already saved it. That is when you use the what? The save command. It's like um, you, save, you saved a document with save as under a name. And then you came back to the document, added the content to it. You don't have to go to save as again. You go to save so that it will add the changes you've made to the existing document. And then the save as is used to save a document under a new name under a new name. So the save as option gives you the chance to save your document with a name. With a name. Good. Then I, I, the difference between backspace and delete. Uh, backspace and delete. Backspace and delete. Now, the, the, uh, the, the backspace key is used to erase characters from the right to the left. The backspace key is used to erase characters from the, from the right to the left. And the delete key is used to erase characters or text from the left to the right. So they are somehow opposite, opposite you know, functions. The backspace deletes characters from the right to the left. And the delete key erases characters or text from the left to the left the right. So that's the difference between um, the backspace and the delete um, key. 
Good. Then we have undo and redo. Undo and redo. The difference is between undo and redo. When do we use undo? And then when do we use redo? Good. Now, we use undo when you want to reverse an action. Undo is used when you want to, I mean, reverse an action. And then redo is used when you want to repeat an action. So if I type a sentence and then I want to, I mean, um, repeat a sentence without retyping it, I highlight it, then I click on the redo button. I click on the redo button. The sentence will, what, will reappear. So the redo button is used to repeat a sentence. And the undo button is used to reverse Reverse an action. So they work in you know, the opposite. Whilst undo repeats an action, redo reverses an action. So on this note, I'll display the answers on the screen for viewers who want to copy. Okay, good. So as I was saying, as I was saying, the save, the save is used to save an already existing document under with the same name. Whilst save as is used to save a new document with a new name. With a new name. So save as the document is already in I mean save the document is already in existence. You just added some contents to it. Good. So this means that you don't need to use a new name when you're using the word the save command. But the save as they save, save as what? As the name you want to give to the document. That is why we have it as save as. Save as. As the new name you want to give to the document. So this option actually gives you the chance to name your documents with your desired name. With your desired um, name. Then we have the backspace and the delete key. As I said, the backspace is used to erase characters or text from the right to the left. From the right to the left. And the, the, uh, the delete key is used to erase characters from the left to the right portion of the document. Good. And then the undo, as I said, is an editing tool which is used to reverse an action. It is used to reverse an action. Whilst the redo is used to repeat, to repeat an action. It's used to repeat an action. So at this point, I would like to go over. I would like to go over again. I would like to go over again so that um, viewers can, I mean, have a clear understanding of it. As this um, program is geared towards um, assisting students in answering um, ICT questions um, in the best way as possible. So now, the question one was an interface was an interface of a word processing document. An interface of a word processing document. Good. So we were asked to um, use the, um, the diagram above to answer the questions that I mean uh, follows. Then the question one was, what does the picture above represent? What does the picture above represent? Then the answer was word star application. Now, why word star application? Why word star application? Now, the blue bar on top of the application is a title bar. And then the title bar usually displays the name of the application you are working with. It displays the name of the application you are working with. So here, as you can see on the blue bar, we have the program icon the, uh, a document and then word star. This means that the name of the document is document. Here, the user has not yet named it. So you have it as what? Document. And the program is word star. So the application you are using for this um, um, document is a word star application. And it's an example of a word processing application. Just like we have the Notepad, um, Word um, Perfect, we have the MS Word. They are all examples of um, 
text editors or word processing application. Good. And then the II. Uh, name any two applications which can perform the same function as the above. Now, what this question demands is that you should give examples of the above application. So if you write any example of any word processing document, word processing application, you are right. So the word perfect is part, note, uh, notepad is part, and word pad is part. Good. Then the II, what is the name of the document? What is the name of the document here? If you don't take time, you might be tempted to choose word star as the name of the document. Because it might sound ambiguous if you say that, I mean, the, the, the document name is document. But that is the correct answer because the user has not yet named the document. Now, if I should decide to name this document or the user name the document, let's say, Berry. We are going to have Berry word star. Meaning that the name of the document is what? Berry. But at this point, there is no name for the document. So we use the default name provided by the application. That is document. So we have document as the name of the document. Good. Then the IV. IV. Um, name the parts labeled A to E. A to E. So the A, the A, as we said, is an insertion point. An insertion point. Insertion point. Good. Then the B. The B is word star application. Word star application. That is the name of the program. Word star application. So A. Insertion point. Sorry. Sorry. The B is a title bar. Sorry for that. The B is a what? A title um, bar. A title bar. Because it's, it is displaying the name of the document, the name of the program, and also it has the control uh, box. So the B is the title bar. Then we have the C. The C is also um, pointing on the format. Format. Now, as I told you, if you have a computer in the house, try to hover the mouse on any of the formatting, uh, uh, any of the editing, how do you call it, um, names there. We have the format, insert, we have the view, edit, file, and then help. When you hover your mouse over any of these, it will be circled by a rectangular box, which means that you've, what, you've selected it. But in this case, I don't see any rectangular box around any of the menu names there. So format can be the answer. Format can be the answer. And therefore, it is a menu bar. It is a menu bar. Then we have the part labeled D. D is our work area. That is where we do our actual typing, insertion of um, diagrams like clip arts and others. Good. Then we have the E. The E. Now the E is pointing on when. As I told you earlier on, don't be tempted to choose when as the answer. No. If you choose when, you've had it wrong, even though it is pointing on when. Now, in computer language, in computer language, we don't have words. We have text and characters. Okay? Text and characters. A character is a single letter. So characters makes up text, just like in English. Letters makes up words. In computer language, characters makes up um, text. So the the answer for E is a text. Is a text. Text. Good. So let's go through the good. So we have. Word star, as I said earlier on. Then we have examples of the above applications. We have the word pad, um, word perfect. A notepad can also be a part because it is also a word 
processing application. Then the II is a document, is a document, because the user did not name the document. If the user had named it, the name of the document would have taken the position of the document. Then we have the part labeled A to E. A is the insertion point, B is the title bar, C is the menu bar, D is the document area, and then E is a text. 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 Good. Text. Let's go over the next question again. Good. Then we were asked to state the functions of the part labeled A to D. State the fun say the functions of the part labeled A to D. A to D. Let's go back to A and then see what the label was. Yes. So A was insertion point. This is where text you type appears. Yes. Then the B is a title bar. So the title bar, as we said earlier on, it displays the name of the document, the name of the program, and then the control box. Then the control box. The control box is made up of um, three, three um, buttons. We have the, the minimize button, the maximize button, and then the close button. And collectively, they are called control box. Control box. Good. Then the, uh, the other part was D. The function of the part labeled D. Now, D is your work area. D is your work area. Work area. This is where you actually do your what? Your typing. Insertion of clip arts and other stuffs. Good. So, uh -huh, the A, as we said, it's, uh, it is used to show where you begin typing. That is the insertion point. It is used to show where you begin typing. And then the B contains the control box and displays the name of the document. And that is the title bar. Then the, the D, that is the work area. That is where, that is the space where you type text. Not only text, you can also what, insert pictures over there. That is your what? Your work area. That is where you actually do your typings and then add this. Good. Then the question B was study the diagram below carefully and then answer the questions that follow. As I said earlier on, this is a feature of a web browser. It is a feature of a web browser. And then a web browser is an application software that enables users to surf the net. Examples include we have um, the Mozilla Firefox is a web browser. We have Netscape. We have Opera Mini. They are all examples of what? Web browsers. And then the above diagram you see is a feature on any of these what? Web browsers. So the part labeled A to F. The A is a forward button. A forward button. Good. B stop button. Uh, C refresh button. D home button. Um, e history button. And then F print button. F is print button. F print button. Print. So let's move on to the next um, question. Good. Good. We were asked to I mean, differentiate between save and then save as. Save and then save as. So as I said earlier on, the save command is used when you want to add content to an existing document. This implies that when you pick the save command, you don't need to, uh, to use a new name. But then you are saving it under the same name. Good. Then the save as. As the name implies. Save as. Save the document as the name you want. So the save as option gives you the chance to save your document with a name. With a name. Then we have the backspace and the delete key. The difference between the backspace and the delete key. Now, the backspace erases characters from the right to the left. If you have a computer in the house, you can, you can try this. 
type a text in any of the text editors and then use the backspace, you realize that it's, it will delete or it will erase characters from the right to the left. Good. Then we have the delete key. This also erases characters from the left to the right. From the left to the right. Then we have the undo and redo buttons. The undo and redo buttons. Now, the undo. Undo is used undo is used to reverse an action. They are editing tools. Undo is used to reverse an action. And then redo is used to repeat to repeat an action. Redo is used to repeat an action. So you have the answers displayed on your screen. So the save is used to save an already existing document under or with the same name, as I said earlier on. Then the save option is used to save a new document with a new name. So this implies that the save as gives you the chance to save your document with the name you desire. Then the backspace and the delete, uh, the, back, the backspace is used to erase characters or text. Yes, from the right to the left. And then the delete key is used to erase characters or text from the left to the right. Then the undo is an editing tool which is used to, uh, to reverse to reverse an action. So if you type something in, let's say, um, if you type a text in any of the word processing applications, and then you want to what? Take it off. You go to undo. You go to undo. The word or whatever you typed will be off. Good. And also, if you want to repeat the action, repeat an action in, say, a word processing document, like I type a sentence and I want to what to retype the sentence, but I don't want to actually what type it. I will just have to select it and then click on my redo command. The whatever I typed what will reappear again. So that's the differences between the undo and then what redo um, button. Good. So on this uh, note. We draw the curtains down to today's um, lessons. Hopefully, we'll meet again next week. Thank you. Abandon Grace International School, we are located right in Obwaste, precisely BDM. The school has a number of facilities that aid in learning. We have qualified and trained teachers who are ready and willing to assist the children. The school has many facilities such as the ICT laboratory. We also have a science laboratory. We also have a library. The school has a number of buses which convey the children from their various destinations to the school premises. We have the football team. We have the drama group. We have a lot. And the school is based on the Christian principles. For more inquiries, you can call this number 0541-310-901. 0541-670772. Abandon Grace in God we trust.